Hi, I'm Hattie. You may know me from Instagram or TikTok. Welcome to my Upper West Side apartment. So fun fact about this apartment is I actually grew up here and I took over the lease from my parents almost three years ago when they retired and moved out of the city. So I've spent that time just making my place my own. I don't think there is a surface left of this entire apartment that I haven't touched. So uh, one I did recently was I painted my foyer. I wanted to define the space as its own and not just an extension of the hallway. So I painted it this slate color. A couple fun things about this room. This is my wallpaper door. I thought it was a fun way to spruce up just like a plain metal New York City apartment door. So we put some wallpaper up here. It was actually really hard, like cutting around all the things, but that's why I will never take it down. Um, another thing I did recently was made this gallery wall. I love gallery walls. I feel like they make a space feel super cozy and I'm really into gold tones and wood tones. So I like to mix and match them up here. Um, I thrifted this mirror for 25 bucks and then I gilded it myself. Um, I really wanted the look of a pure mirror. Um, this apartment was built in the 1890s. So it's of the Victorian era and pure mirrors are really popular in Victorian homes. So I kind of wanted to echo that in my design. So right off the foyer is the first bedroom. This bedroom used to be my childhood bedroom and now I've made it into a sitting room. So this is the first bedroom. This actually used to be my childhood bedroom and I originally just had it as a guest room, but especially over quarantine, I realized I really wasn't maximizing my space and living in New York. I'm super lucky to have two bedrooms. So I revamped it into a sitting room slash library slash work from home room that also doubles as a guest room. So I got this amazing um, sofa that unfolds into a queen size bed so that I can accommodate guests when they come. Um, one of my favorite things about this room are the bookcases. These are eight foot tall bookcases and I have just filled them with books and little knickknacks and just kind of treasures I've collected from over the years. I have a lot of old books. My mom's first career, she was an art historian. So I have a lot of really cool old art books and this is just my favorite room to come into with a cup of tea and pick a book and just chill out. So over here, this is an antique desk that I inherited from a family friend who passed away. It was a crazy story how I got it. I knew that I wanted a desk this exact size and I wanted something antique in wood and I was looking for months. I actually placed two orders online for desks and for some weird reason, both orders got canceled. So I just gave up and then the very next day I got a text um, from the daughter-in-law of the original owner of this desk who was like a grandma to me and she offered it to me and it was down to the inch the exact size that I had been looking for so I feel like those orders getting canceled was her making sure that I got this desk so it's super special to me and it's a great place to sit and work from home. So this is my living room. This is definitely the room where I spend the most time and probably the room that has been changed the most since my parents lived here. Um, on either side of the living room are a set of pocket doors that lead into both of the bedrooms. Um, growing up, these pocket doors were closed. They were like taped shut and somebody had put just sheets of drywall over them and then like built built in shelf situations. So my biggest thing that I wanted to do when I took over the apartment was tear down those walls and open up the doors. I truly feel like they are the gem of the apartment. So 
The living room now is much more open and fluid and just a lot brighter than it used to be, so I love it. Um, another favorite thing is my fireplace in here um, and my TV, which looks like art. After opening up the doors, there was no logical place for the TV except up here, so I knew that I needed something pretty and not just a black box. Um, one day I would maybe love to officially restore the tiles on the fireplace, but for now I just have sticky tiles. The original tiles, although they're pretty, they're in awful shape, really cracked. So I did some sticky tiles as a quick renter friendly fix, but maybe one day I can do it for real. So on this side of the living room, I have a little dining nook. I definitely could have made one of the bedrooms into a dining room, but I just felt like that wasn't the best use for my space. And having a round table in a corner is really great. I can just push it back if I need more room. So you can get into the bedrooms and the living room all through the hallway this way, or you can go through the pocket door. So I like that there's two ways. So out here is the hallway in my hall closets that leads to the kitchen, pantry, and bathroom. And then over this way, we have the second bedroom. Um, this is my bedroom now, but growing up, this was my parents' bedroom. As I said before, there used to be a wall here and there was a built-in shelf situation, but I opened that up. Um, another favorite part is my second fireplace here. I also put sticky tiles over the original tiles. Some people hate it. Um, the original tiles are okay, but they're very dark and they're brown and it's just not my vibe. So I wanted to make it a little bit brighter. So I believe this chandelier was the first thing I bought. I bought it way before my parents moved out. I was just getting excited. Um, so I put this up and then I chose the paint color for this room based off of the top tier of tassels. I wanted a dark room and I chose this room because of the wainscoting that takes up like a third of the wall. I like having that bright white as a contrast so I can have a dark space but not have it like too overwhelmingly dark. Um, up here on the mantle fireplace situation. So these fireplaces are gas and I don't think that gas fireplaces are legal anymore in New York City. So the gas was shut off a while ago. The logs though are original. And if you look closely, they have little holes in them and that's where the fire would have come out back in the day. Um, I put a string of plug-in fairy lights to give the ambiance of a fire. Um, up here, I have a couple treasures. This is one of my prized possessions. My grandmother on my dad's side was an artist, so I have quite a few of her drawings and paintings. Um, she died when I was young, so it's really nice to have a little part of her always here. Um, over here, this is another, this is one of my proudest DIYs. If you follow me on Instagram, I'm really into the DIY life. So I thrifted this dresser for maybe $65. Um, I found it in Pennsylvania and it was had a lot of paint on it, many layers of paint. And I had the genius idea to strip it, thinking that it would be a quick and easy project. One month later and a lot of tears, <laughs> I finally finished it and I just stripped it down to the original wood, put a stain on it. And now it is a treasure to me. <laughs> Um, and then if we come over this way, we can head to the kitchen area. So we are now going to head into the back end of the apartment. So I mentioned this apartment was built in the 1890s. This is like almost untouched. Um, so right here is my kitchen. It is small. Um, I don't think back in the 1890s they had fridges or any appliances. So it's almost in the same state that it was. Um, my parents put in this cabinet and I've made a couple changes, but for the most part, it's the same. Um, so it's small, but it's cozy and homey and I can cook in here. So that's all that matters. Over here is a really cool part of the apartment. Um, 
This is the butler's pantry, I guess you call it. I love it, it's super old school and I think it just gives you a feeling like you are living over 100 years ago. Over here is a really cool feature that you do not find in most New York City apartments. This is a dumbwaiter. As you can see, it's been bolted shut. And I'm guessing that these are not original because you wouldn't have been able to open it. So these were probably added after the fact, but this is the original dumbwaiter. They boarded it up back in the 80s, I believe. Um, I think there was like a string of robberies connected to the dumbwaiter. So it's been closed, but I love that it's there as a reminder of the past. And then back here is my very New York City tiny bathroom, which is nothing special, but one day I would love to completely re remodel it if I can. So coming off the pantry kitchen area is the hallway. This is another one of my favorite parts of the apartment. It's just so old school and oh, I love all the original moldings that the apartment has and the hallway is just filled with them. So I have filled the hallway with art, some art I've gotten from my mom and most of it I've just kind of collected by myself while thrifting. Um, so I have just created a full blown gallery hallway. Um, a couple of interesting pieces. So this candlesticks, these came from my grandparents' first home together. They had like a little log cabin in Kentucky and my mom kept them for me. And so I've put them up here. Um, this funny thing, this is my very old school fuse box. Um, definitely not changed since 1890 and I was able to find a little art that was the perfect size and just put it right on top to kind of dress it up and make it an art piece instead of just a fuse box. And then coming back this way, we are back in the entryway. Uh, well, Hattie, thank you so much for letting us tour your place. It's amazing. Thank you. But I, I gotta ask you, how, how, how are you paying so little for this place? It's amazing. Yeah, so I am, super lucky that my parents held on to this place for me so it's rent stabilized which means that it the rent can go up but not too much i think it goes up about 2.5 percent per lease renewal so since we've had this place for so long the price is pretty low so eternally grateful for this huge blessing because i'm a special ed teacher and i would not be able to afford an apartment like this otherwise do you have any go-to spots around here? I have a go-to spot around here. It is, I think, the best bagel place in the city and it is right by me and I go there way too much. Should we go? <laughs> Should we go check it out? Let's go. Let's go. I couldn't let you leave without taking you to my favorite neighborhood spot, which is Absolute Bagels. They make absolutely the best bagels ever. So if you are ever on the Upper West Side, you have to try it. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and coming to my apartment. You can always find me on Instagram at Hattie Culp.